It's Monday! Time for the hot spot! Yeah! After two years of anticipation, the UV Wi Fi connected voice operated computer is finally available. This computer allows for hands free voice interaction in homes and runs Android to take commands and turn them into action. The UV uses the latest in voice recognition, speech triggering, natural language understanding, and speech synthesis to provide a unique interaction with the world. UV doesn't need a keyboard, mouse, or screen monitor. It interacts with the user via natural conversations. The box plugs into a wall outlet and connects to a home network over Wi-Fi, has two microphones and small stereo speakers, and finds out what you need to know from resources in the cloud. For more information, click on the links below. World Beacon Technologies has introduced online dashboard, beacon, and free app trio called Site Compass. It is a powerful combined tool used to broadcast and receive information to truly bring to life one's personal environment. The information can include a detailed description of any room, including objects such as menus, tables, location of drinking fountains, restrooms or smaller objects such as power outlets locations, or button descriptions on a vending machine. Hey, that's pretty handy. And site compass beacons push any information to the end user. With this technology, anything can be described and made accessible for everyone. For more information, click on the links below. So what's the problem with electric cars? Well, the recharging time can be somewhat ridiculous and the range just isn't there. They also aren't the cheapest cars to purchase. Well, at least I can't afford them. In a novel approach, Takashi Ohira at Toyohashi University of Technology and colleagues are developing an innovative method for powering EVs that drastically reduces the number of batteries. The approach exploits the steel belt usually embedded in rubber tires. The steel belt collects power excited from a pair of electrodes buried beneath the road surface. And since the steel belt is electrically insulated by the rubber tread, the researchers used a displacement current at high frequency to penetrate from underground to the steel belt. It avoids the need for potentially dangerous contact conductivity devices by upconverting energy from power lines into radio frequency using high speed inverters. iRobot Corp has announced the U-Point Multi-Robot Controller MRC system, which is a universal control system for iRobot's line of defense and security robots that will enable robot operators to be more proficient than ever before. The U-Point MRC system runs an Android-based app that standardizes the control of any robot within the iRobot family of unmanned vehicles, and its features include a virtual joystick that allows users to touch and drag anywhere on the main video feed to steer the robot, predictive drive lines that help guide operators through tight spots, autonomous driving modes including vector drive to hold a desired heading, Simplified manipulation with direct control of the arm on a virtual model. Data sharing from the operator's controller to other team members or remote observers. Easy switching on the same tablet between different robots operating in the vicinity. Video recording, capturing digital evidence and uploading it to the cloud or a secure network where files can be managed, retrieved and shared. Enhanced product sustainment thanks to remote software updates, embedded training tutorials, and built-in maintenance functions. And finally, the ability to execute important tasks from the Android device, including consulting reference materials, checking email, and using other non-robot related mission apps. And finally, look what I got. Robot update. A couple weeks ago, I talked about the RP6V2C Autonomous Mobile Robot System from Global Specialties, and I've been having a blast trying to figure it out. Well, having my fiance help me figure it out. We were able to get the robot to move on its own by running one of the example programs provided by Global Specialties. We also tried out the light following program, and were able to get the remote control program to work as well. Because my expertise isn't in computer programming, I don't think I would have been successful with the robot if Jacob, who eats, sleeps, and dreams coding, didn't help walk me through it. We are going to continue working with the RP6 V2, so keep an eye out for it. We want to purchase the Wi-Fi module so we can control it with our smartphones, and Jacob is going to try and teach me how to do additional coding so we can come up with custom programs. 
that should be funny. Actually quite hilarious because like math, I just don't get it. And for one final announcement, yes, we're not done still. WDD is excited to welcome back Janine Mooney as editor-in-chief, so make sure you drop her a line at janine.mooney at advantagemedia.com. She will be writing featured articles and participating in some videos, so watch out for that. It will be exciting, and it's a new face. Well, not an old face that's new again. You, you get what I mean. Well, that's all for this week's episode of The Hot Spot. Make sure to post your comments below or send them to me at megan.zimba at advantagemedia.com. For WDD, I'm Megan Zimba, and I'll see you next time in The Hot Spot. <laughs>